come with me to the Paradise City where the grass is green and the fragrances are cheap. Perfect tense. That's exactly how the lyrics go. That's how I remember it. What's up, friends? How's it going? Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope that you're doing well. Today, we're talking about cheap fragrances, fragrances you can get from discounters without spending too much of that hard-earned money that are perfect tens. They're so good, man. The quality is just chef's kiss. So that's the deal. Perfect 10 fragrances, and I actually have a bonus fragrance. We get 11 instead of 10, but 10 sounds better for titles. So let's jump into it. So today's fragrance topic is cheap fragrances. You know what's not cheap? Niche fragrances. You know what you can do to make them cheaper though? Use the code GENTS10. That'll make them 10% cheaper. That's one tenth cheaper. That's math. From the websites, luckyscent.com and twistedlily.com, Gents10 will get you that 10% off. It will save you that money on those niche fragrances. Or you could also shop at jomashop.com and use the code Gents8, which will save you $8 off any order over $110. They are already a discounter, so fragrances there are, are probably cheaper than at the other website. Now, uh, just a little bit of house cleaning before we get started. These fragrances are cheap, assuming you buy them from discounters. If you buy them at full retail, they will not be quite so cheap, will they? So keep that in mind. And also because these are cheap fragrances, I'm grading them on a little bit of a curve. Because if you hand me a fragrance that costs $20, I'm gonna say, dang, that's some good quality for that fragrance. If you hand me that same fragrance and it's $250, my dang will be for a different reason. So keep that in mind, let's go. First up is Aro Chrome Extreme. This fragrance right here has a bit of a similarity to Aqua de Jo's Profundo. So it's gonna get you really close to smelling like that fragrance, only it's gonna cost you a whole lot less. And it has just as much of that versatility of that compliment factor as Aqua de Jo Profundo does. C notes, juniper, mandarin, orange, and cashmere are some of the notes in this fragrance. It is one of the best Zaro chrome flankers that has ever been made. And the fact that you can get this for next to nothing from discounters makes it an absolute steal. Chrome Extreme, a fantastic cheap fragrance, and it's not just a spring summertime scent. With this type of DNA, this type of scent, you can really rock this stuff year round, daytime, nighttime, don't matter. And I'll have all these linked in the description below in case you wanna check them out. Next one is a bit of a clone fragrance, but it's a really good one. Really nice quality here. It smells much more expensive than what it costs. It is Amir Al Oud Intense from Latafa. Now the bottle to me looks a little bit Frankensteinian in nature, Frankenstein's monster, but I don't mean that in that it looks like it's cobbled together from a lot of different bottles. I just mean that it looks uh, really stocky and kind of derpy, but that's just me. I'm sure a lot of people out there think this one is beautiful. Oud, vanilla, sugar, and sandalwood, some of the notes in this one. It smells a bit like By the Fireplace from Maison Martin Margiela, only way, 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 way cheaper. So you have this really nice smokiness to it, this smoky woodiness that's frankly great smelling when you consider how cheap this stuff is, but then it has this sweetness that helps balance it out and kind of provides a counterpoint. A wonderful fragrance for fall and winter time. Amir Al Oud Intense is a great scent in spite of the bottle looking just blocky. Yeah, maybe that's a better word for it, just like a, like a brick. Okay, the next fragrance used to be cheaper from discounters. You used to be able to get this for not much cheddar at all, but unfortunately it's gotten more expensive and harder to find as the years have gone on. But you can still get a 30 milliliter size bottle for pretty cheap. And if you wanted to kick it up to like a 50 or 100 mil bottle, you can do that. They're still available. They just cost more than they used to. I say they're still available. Sometimes they're sold out at discounters. But as of this video, still available. Ferragamo Womo Signature. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. And everybody seems to know it, except Salvatore Ferragamo. Ferragamo doesn't know how beautiful it is. Isn't that how it always goes? You're beautiful. I'm like uh, Keanu Reeves, you're beautiful. You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Tonka Leather Roast Coffee and Cardamom, some of the notes in this fragrance here. It is taking Salvatore Ferragamo Womo up to 11. It's rich, it's sweet, quite sweet, it's dense, it's a great compliment pulling fragrance. It stands alone actually, as far as designer scents go, it's pretty unique. You know, it smells similar to Ferragamo Womo, but you expect that, it's in the line, right? One of the better coffee notes out there in designer scents, Womo Signature is absolutely fantastic. You get a great looking bottle, in my opinion. Some people don't like it, but I do. The performance is here, the compliment factor is here, like I just said, Womo Signature is a great scent. After that one, 
a fragrance from Bentley. Bentley for Men Absolute. Also, Bentley for Men Intense is very good for the price. Yeah, Bentley fragrances are cheap. Go figure. Their cars cost about $8 billion. Oh, that's all? A few hundred grand. Bentley for Men Absolute, great for the cost. It smells similar to Gucci Pour Homme 1, which is discontinued now and will cost you upwards of two, $300 or more if you want a bottle and you'll have to get it from eBay and hope that it's not fake. It has cedar, olibanum and papyrus as some of the notes in the fragrance. Yeah, a little different style of note breakdown there, but it ultimately ends up smelling like a very classy gentlemanly fragrance with an emphasis on incense and smokiness and of course woodiness and a, and a bit of spice as well. So Bentley from in absolute great great buy for the price after that paco rabanne's ultra red yeah ultra red this one was crazy expensive for a long time it was discontinued you couldn't find the stuff unless you went onto ebay and you could pick up a bottle for like 200 dollars or more kind of like gucci pour on one it was hard to find and if you could find it you were going to pay out the nose and then it randomly started popping back up at discounters and when it popped up at discounters something weird happened Usually, if a discounter is aware that a fragrance was discontinued and going for a crazy price on eBay, then when they do stock some of them, they tend to charge you a little extra. So for example, if they see this going on eBay for 250, typically they would go, well, we got some of these in, people are paying $250 for them, let's charge. 125. See, then it looks like a really good deal because it's less than on eBay, but it's still freaking expensive. What happened with Ultra Red is all the discounters put it up for like 35, 40 bucks. And I scooped up multiple bottles because I had been wanting this for a long time, like a really long time. And I was like, man, they're going to sell out. This price is awesome. Let me get a couple backup bottles, whatever. It is absolutely fantastic, though. It's a very sweet fragrance as Pralina as Blood Orange. It's a little bit similar to Ultra Zest from Mugler, which is discontinued and very expensive. So this is pretty much going to be your best bet to get a fragrance close to that one without paying up for that one. There's also vanilla and tonka in there as well. Like I said, uh, a lot of sweetness, great performance, big compliment puller, really, really nice scent. I'm still frankly kind of amazed Ultra Red is going for as cheap as it is. Let's keep it moving with Cavalli Womo. Now, to be fair, if Cavalli Womo Silver Essence or Deep Desire or La Note were still available for a good price, I would choose one of those over this one, but those are getting very difficult to find. The price is going up, 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 up on them. So Cavalli Womo at this point is your best bet for a cheap fragrance that you can actually find from that line. As Violet, Saffron, Honey, and Tonka, another fragrance that is criminally overlooked for the price, this stuff is really, really good. The presentation is fantastic. It's classy, it's sexy. This one has a bit more of an overload on violet to it as compared to the other fragrances in the line. So for some people, it may not work quite as well as it does for me, but I still think it's a great scent that has a classy touch to it while being a great evening choice for dates or more formal situations. Now we got to get some freshness in here. A lot of these fragrances other than Chrome Extreme have been more sweet, and dark fragrances for fall and winter. So we're gonna work this one in, Missoni Wave. C-note, citrus, lavender, and musk, along with vetiver. Some of the notes in this fragrance has a great magnetic cap. That's worth like five points right there. If you buy a tester of this, no magnetic cap. Mm, I don't know, does that look like a perfect 10 to you? No, nah, I don't think so. Smells a little bit like Versace Pour Homme or Chanel Allure Homme Sport, but maybe actually better than both of those, even though I have a big soft spot for Versace Pour Homme. Really good performance, fantastically fresh, very versatile, great compliment puller, Missoni Wave. There's a lot to love about this one. It's time for another clone, Detour Noir from All the Haramain. Now I just talked about Missoni Wave and how it looks pretty and blah, blah, blah. This is ugly, this is hideous. I hate this bottle. It's just, I really don't like it. I have a visceral reaction when I see it. I just think, God, that looks cheap, that looks horrible. But the fragrance is good. It smells similar to Layton from Parfums de Marley, a fantastic, cheap alternative to Layton. Vanilla, musk, amber, and almond, some of the notes in the scent, and it does smell much higher quality than you would expect when you see this cheap bottle and you pay next to nothing for it. You're expecting something that's chemically overly synthetic, maybe smells like Windex mixed with roadkill. No, 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 very good. Quality here is fantastic. Last 
clone. I'm just gonna get this one out of the way and keep moving off non supremacy in ooh. This is gonna be one of the higher quality clones that you're ever gonna smell from the Afnans, the Armafs, the Haramains, the Latafas, the Rasasis of the world. Some of the Rasasis are pretty high quality too. This one, really high quality, smells similar to Oud for Greatness by Initio Parfums, only it's way cheaper. And some people might actually like this presentation more because it's not quite as Illuminati confirmed as the Initio. This one has saffron, nutmeg, oud, and patchouli as some of the notes in the fragrance. And if I were going to suggest to somebody just one fragrance, they came up to me and said, hey, I want to smell like oud for greatness, but I don't have the money for it. It's really pricey. What's going to give me the closest to that fragrance for a still good price? this would be the one. There are other fragrances like Oud for Glory that try to copy the whole thing, the whole presentation, all that stuff. And that one's good too. But in terms of just the scent, this one's better. And this one is getting close to being out of the cheap conversation. It's around 40 bucks, but I think that's worth it as far as what you're getting versus what you pay. Let's switch it up a little bit with Molinard Patchouli. And this one also is gonna be a little bit close to getting out of that cheap range. But I think again, for what you pay versus what you get, this fits the bill. Vanilla, sandalwood, geranium, and of course, patchouli, some of the notes to this fragrance. This whole line actually pretty good quality for what you get here. All of them have really simple names, usually just a note. So like this one, patchouli, very simple. I like the presentation. The purple bottle looks good and the quality here is really nice. It's a bit similar to uh, Patchouli Imperial by Christian Dior, which is over my shoulder here. It's in this group back here. I'm a big fan of just patchouli, like straight up patchouli. Some people might say uh, like hippie patchouli, but done in a more elegant way. I, I like stuff like that. I really don't mind that earthiness, that kind of sweetness that patchouli gives off. I really dig it. And this is a really nice one, very high quality for the price. So if you uh, are into patchouli fragrances and I'm talking patchouli here, okay? Not patchouli as a note, but as the star of the show, Check that out. We've reached the final fragrance, the extra fragrance, you might say. It's from Zadigan Voltaire. It is This Is Him. This is one of those fragrances, kind of like Womo's signature, where you can get a 30 milliliter dinky size one ounce bottle for cheap. If you want to pay more and get the 50 or the 100 mil size bottle, you can do that, but it's available for cheap just for the small bottle. Sandalwood, vanilla, black pepper, incense, and grapefruit, some of the notes to the scent. So it has obviously this really nice woody, spicy incense smokiness to it that I think is really well done. It's obviously gonna be more of a fall and wintertime fragrance, more of a nighttime fragrance in case the bottle didn't give that away with the, the black coloration here. It's a fragrance that got a little bit of hype for a minute there. People were talking about it, scooping it up from discounters. And I think it still is a very, very solid fragrance, again, for the price. It's a little bit mysterious, it's gonna set you apart, and it has good performance. This is some solid choice. So there we go, 11 cheap fragrances that I think when you grade them on their bell curve are a perfect 10. For what you pay, you get a great bang for your buck with each one of these. And there's a, a little something for everybody in here. You got clones, fresh fragrances, sweet fragrances, more masculine fragrances, more gentlemanly fragrances, a lot of stuff. Here. Let me know in the comments your favorite cheap fragrance. The one that you think is just an amazing bang for your buck, a great buy. Let me know what it is. Thank you for hanging with me here. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.